one just arrived. That's the new motor for the Shaper. We're gonna unwrap it and then show the nameplate. It's 980 RPM, 0.75 kilowatts. It's quite big, but it's because it's a low speed motor. It looks brand spanking new. Bearings sound good. It's interesting, it's not painted at all. I bought it extremely cheap on a very popular online auction site. It was a real bargain. I think it was a tenner or so. So let's heat that up. So, once that's cold, it's not going to move anymore. Well, today we managed to fit the motor on the shaper. That's how it looks like now. I found one of these adjustable mounts here somewhere in one of my boxes. So that that's handy to tension belt and everything and it also I also can accommodate for different belt lengths because I'll buy them just as they turn up I think that's an 1130 six rib belt and uh, looks good so far runs nice in the middle I'm running that off an inverter which is actually this one here. The supply is a bit unusual. The electric guys may notice there is only two wires, not four, not three. The reason is I'm feeding that inverter from that transformer, which gives me about 440 volts, maybe 450. You can do that if you consider a few things I may make a video about that because uh, it's just simpler and easier than a big phase converter like the big blue one up there. I got one of those as well, but uh, yeah, that usually runs the mill because the old motor, the old motor of the mill is not really inverter rated. That's from the 60s, so you don't want transients there. Anyway, uh, I'm running that from 440 volt single phase it's a 400 volt rated inverter it's actually 380 to 480 volts but uh, I'm feeding 440 volt single phase which I make with that transformer and that gives me three phase output for the motor I still need to mount that to the shaper somehow but uh, let's fire it up and see what it does So that's about 400 RPM. Looks really nice and smooth, no? Yeah, that's 400 RPM on the motor in low gear. And uh, let's crank that up to something. That's 900 RPM. That's more like it. It's about 50, 60 strokes a minute. And uh, but I think running that thing at about 30 hertz, 35 hertz, is about 600 RPM. Nice and smooth. 
Runs nice and smooth here. So you can, you can even go slower. I'm hitting the current limit in a minute. Well, that's about the minimum speed I can go. <laughs> Sounds, looks really slow motion, doesn't it? So that's the slowest I can go. I can't go much slower because the inverter doesn't like it. I'm hitting the current limit there. So, but I think a convenient speed is is about it's about that. I still have the option of running the whole thing in high gear. It's about that. But it's just it just doesn't feel right. It's really quick actually. That's about 40 hertz, or maybe that's 700 RPM or something like that. So, not too bad, I'm quite happy with it. Belt runs nice and smooth in the middle. And uh, another step forward on the shaper. And that was, that was the original motor. It's a really old motor which the <coughs> previous owner fitted. Uh, it was 1400 RPM and it was way too fast and it doesn't have a lot of power. I think it's 0.18 kilowatts or something like that, quarter horsepower. Uh, it's just not man enough to deal with that shaper. <coughs> 